¿Qué? ¡Suelte! Oh, no, ¡Suelte, hijo de la chingada! ¡Suelte, hijo de la chingada! I mean, I get it. I can understand. It is funny the way the dog kind of stops and goes. And I, I get, you know, they say the vet tech wasn't hurt. The thing is, the owner's obviously expecting it. You can see the dog's face. It's licking its lips and it's backing out. And you can see him frantically hanging on. And that poor little dog. And they're making it really do. Why didn't they just stop? Why didn't they just stop? As soon as it starts wriggling, put the dog down. Give it a chance to get itself together and have another go because you're never going to be able to do that again now that poor little dog was absolutely terrified he'd taken a chunk out of the vet tech um and he's not going to let you pick him up and touch his paws again i'm not quite sure what she was doing if she was just cutting nails or if she was actually doing something like an injection but uh, i do feel for the poor little dog um It's also very difficult. You know, when you're a little dog, nobody takes you seriously. When Holly makes threats like that, people take take her seriously, especially because I tell them she will bite. I don't, I'm not sure she would, but I make it very plain that she will bite. Um, and big dogs, they know if they get bit, they'll stay bit. But little dogs like that, nobody ever takes them seriously, and I feel really sorry for them. I think it helps make them really aggressive. 